customer experience. It's essential in the travel industry. And in this dynamic world of travel, being agile, I think it's a prerequisite. So what's the role of cloud in delivering great experiences and in adopting instantly when needed? John Hurley, the CTO of Ryanair, is here to share his experience, his learnings, his insights, and his use cases. Welcome, John. Thanks, Ronald, and thank you for the invite. It's great to have you on the show, John. So delivering a great customer experience is a foundation for any successful airline. How is Ryanair using cloud to transform this experience time and time again? So Ryanair started this flow journey in 2018, where we selected AWS as our partner, primarily because of its tech stack, its flexibility, and cost point. Cost point. Particularly in the dynamic environment that we currently live in, it was important that we part of it fitted those needs. Since then, we've been moving our foot digital footprint across the cloud. Today, we've moved across our email service, which is email service, 1.4 billion emails, our website, which is the world's largest airline website, and MyRainAir, which actually hosts 30 million unique customer accounts. We're also using AWS to build um, homegrown strategical projects for our operations, for crew, pilots, and for engineering. We plan to fly 225 million passengers over the next three to four years. It's very important that whatever solution we build now has got scalability in mind, which is an important feature we get from AWS and its, its cloud functionality. We're also using AWS, working on machine learning projects, particularly around our dynamic pricing, and focus on getting the right product to the right person at, at the right time. Impressive quantities, uh, for sure. And you're talking mm -hmm. about this dynamic operation, and I think it's a fair statement that change is the only constant in the in the travel industry, especially during this pandemic. So how is Ryanair responding to these changes? Can you give some examples and can you explain the role of cloud? Of course. Um, the last year and a half, the biggest changes are obviously being COVID driven. Three jumped to mind. One was how we reduce costs as bookings disappear to make sure we got through to the other side. Cloud was ideal for that because your website could turn off a number of key services to reduce costs. Another big challenge we have is we to refund 20 million unique users. And again, without cloud and with compute power, that would have been impossible. Probably the most interesting challenge we had was our customers were complaining, they were confused over how to um, safely travel and fly. Countries across Europe were changing their requirements, travel requirements on a weekly basis from passenger locator forms, to PCR tests, to antigen tests, and minimum times to 24 to 48 to 72 hours. So a lot of confusion and, and customers are worried and concerned. So the business gave us a challenge to give, to give them a digital wallet that will allow them to um, safely secure their travel documents in a nice location next to um, boarding passes. Typically, this would have taken us several weeks to build using AWS Lambda services. We managed to get it live in three days. And you're talking about this wallet um, and you created it in, in a very short period of time. Can you explain mm -hmm. the steps that you took in more detail, how long it took and how were you able to accomplish this so quickly? Of course, yeah. Well, typically, quick quick update on what the actual problem was. People could upload documents from any source, laptop, mobile phone, etc., in different formats from PDF to images to Word documents. We need a solution that would get these documents, would convert them to PDF, correct size them so that work in all media, such as Android device versus iOS. They have to be linked to your boarding pass. It had to be secure and had to allow people to actually delete the information, their GPR data after, after they flew. So there was a lot of complex business rules in there. Normally a project this size would take several weeks with our front-end web developers designing web web UI, Android teams or iOS teams, all the, the, the building the various components to get that business case working. It turned out using AWS, we only used one backend developer. We used the S3 and used particularly the S3 object Lambda to write the business rules and logic to actually dynamically get the documents, resize them, link them to your booking, and display it to the customer in their mobile app. And that took about roughly half a day. It took us another day and a half to test it, and we had an MVP live in three days. So it was very successful. And today we've had 30 million unique people have used it since we live last March. So very happy and it's been a very successful product. It's hard to predict the future nowadays, but what can we expect in the near future from new developments from Ryanair? A follow on from Digital Wallet, we actually had a hard look at how else we can improve the customer's experience on the day of travel and remove that anxiety. And again, the benefit of having cloud services, you can move dynamically and build products very, very quickly. We've been done a series of iterations for every two weeks since. July, we've rolled out new features that we call a day of travel app. So it's kind of all the challenges you have when you're traveling. For example, the flight status is a flight on time, has it been delayed? What boarding gate do you have to go to? 
Um, do you want to purchase a last minute product such as fast track if you're running late or do you want to add an extra bag or going to the check-in desk and queuing? It's all these features that the flight's being disrupted, a live video feed, notifications. If you want to buy a cup of tea or a cup of coffee on the aircraft, you can buy it in advance. So all these ideas that would help in ease anxiety and make life easier for customers that travel through the airport along with their digital wallet and just make it a, a simpler solution. Um, it hasn't stopped there. The roadmap continues to grow. There's every week, week and a half, a new idea pops up. So currently working on it, the idea of actually the checking gate you have to go to and what baggage belt your bag will be on when you arrive at your, your destination airport. But as I said, that's it's dynamic, it's flexible. Four weeks from now, we probably have a whole new set of features that we can give to customers as they travel. Yeah, it's it's truly amazing how agile Ryan, Ryan can respond to all these changes in the market and deliver this great new experiences time after time. Thank you, John. And for the audience, thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.